Hey there, all you wild and crazy fourth graders in Miss Walker's class. I'm just a raccoon here to give you a quick rundown on westward expansion. Not really, I'm here to give you a rundown on the gold rush. Mr. Yarber here. Now first, let's talk about some background information. I've got my buddy sitting right here. He's traveling with me. We're trying to make it out to California for that famous miraculous gold. Now, some background real quick. First off, it's very important to understand that Thomas Jefferson gave a bunch of land west to France. So France decided to call this land Louisiana. Now, during Andrew Jackson's presidency, during Andrew Jackson's presidency, he wanted to borrow the, the ports over around New Orleans somewhere to house some ships, and France said, hey, you know what? We'll just sell it to you. We'll sell you all this western territory. So, Andrew Jackson purchased the territory that's known as the Louisiana Purchase. Now, this sparks the expedition of Lewis and Clark to go out west looking for all this territory, and that leads us into 1836, whenever Texas claims its independence from Mexico. Uh, they signed a treaty that was a big, long battle fought. Uh, not good for Texas. The famous motto, remember the Alamo. Uh, but a, a greedy sign, or an agreement is signed. A uh, treaty agreement signed by Texas and Mexico stopping the, the battle, saying, you know what? We'll let the Rio Grande determine the border between Texas and Mexico. So Texas gets its independence, causes more people to, to navigate over to the west, reaching as far as Oregon, going through California. This guy known as John Fremont explored the route to Oregon, and interest began to grow. Now, gold was discovered in California. It was around 1848 or so. Uh, 1848 to 1855 is approximately whenever the gold rush actually took place. But gold was discovered in California. Now, you think about that. Gold being discovered, it's going to cause tons of people to come over, uh, all looking for this, this new thing. And we're going to talk about that in just a second, this newly found gold. Because what do you get whenever you get gold? You get rich. People want to be rich. Uh, so the news spreads quickly. Thousands of people head west to California looking in search for this gold. Now, in the year 1849, interesting fact for you, in the year 1849, these people, thousands of people, approximately 29,000 people start to migrate west to go over to California. Um, on the way over to California, or not on the way over, but them getting there, and they, they developed this name, these names known as the 49ers. Now, some of you probably didn't know that. You knew about the... 49ers football team, but didn't know there was actually a group of 49ers in 1849. There was a mass movement of people over to California in search of gold. Um, now, these people developed a nickname, the 49ers. While they got over there, they opened these things called boom towns. Boom towns, these quick towns opened really quick uh, because people were wanting to get there to make a profit. Even if you weren't looking for gold, you're going to open a shop to sell products to these people. Now, interesting fact about these boom towns is later on they become known as that is correct. Ghost towns. These abandoned towns where no one actually lives at. Now, people are headed west, which brings us to a very important term known as opportunity cost. Opportunity cost are those things we give up for new things. Okay? For an example, I made an opportunity cost today whenever I came to work because I decided that I would give up sleep in order to come to work and get paid. This same concept was going on in these these people's minds just like you do every single day whenever you go through the lunch line opportunity cost well i choose pizza so i'm giving up salisbury steak with gravy that's the opportunity cost it's what you give up now these people made the decision you know what we're going to leave our farms we're going to leave all this thing and we're going to go in search of this gold because gold makes them rich they want to find this gold out west so during this time period Okay, and this is going to blow some around and give you a harsh reality to what it was truly like and why so many people decided to go this way. Approximately 12 million ounces of gold was found between 1848 and 1855. Now, to give you a perspective in money, that is approximately... 20 billion United States dollars based on the year of around 2012. So that's a whole lot of money to these people. Now, the first people that went over there, they got rich. They found a lot of gold because there was an abundance of gold. There was a lot of it. But the more people that go over for the opportunity, the more gold that's panned before these new mining operations are set up, uh, gold starts to become more and more scarce. Now, did gold, searching for gold, actually end in 1855? Absolutely not. For those of you that watch Gold Rush and things like that on TV in the day's time, you know there are still people searching for gold. This is Mr. Yarber giving you a quick rundown on the Gold Rush and the 49ers. Hope